Hello guys, good morning. Today we're with the OG mug and it's time for a new project. She looks nice, isn't it? Yes, bro. How do you wanna? Oh! So, the new project then? The new scrap then. <laughs> <laughs> you might have seen it in the background before. Um, but it's a 1993 uh, facelifted MG kitted uh, C. C124, so the cool version of the E Glass. It is fitted with uh, M104, M104 engine, 3.5 liter, 3 I've already started taking stuff off, and the manifolds, the exhaust, everything is off. And the reason for that is we're gonna be fitting the kangaroos team shout out to them from bulgaria uh we're gonna be fitting um turbo manifold um mega squirt from vladi again from bulgaria shout out to him as well he built the mega squirt pretty quick petu thank you really much for the manifold came here it just fits like a glove basically fits like a glove. <laughs> yeah. it looks amazing um so yeah, today we're going to be finishing up the wiring um, because that biodegradable wiring loom and all that stuff that Mercedes used back then it's all falling apart so George Boy already started on it I have um, stripped some of it down I have added some wires and uh, today we're going to be finishing that off hopefully I can finish it all today I'm waiting from, uh, for a new soldering iron from um, Amazon Hopefully that turns up, so I can finish the wiring down. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna show you more in just a little bit.
as you can see, I have removed a lot of the wires. Um, the reason for that is because <coughs> um, some of the stuff didn't really line up with um, what my diagnostic, uh, with what my wiring diagram was showing. So I had to basically do my own pinout <coughs> by following all the wires where they went and all that stuff um, so yeah I stripped the plug down I have all the some deepening stuff um, and I'll make everything a little bit neater than what I was shooting for which is always a good thing um, <coughs> So yeah, let's put the, that wire back together where it's supposed to go and all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna cut it, I'll cut it with some additional slack so I can um, do whatever. Clean up all the wires that are left over. I've just directly bin them. And as I said from the beginning, now because I have the template, I can just build it right up from the ground up. Um, of course, as long as you have the plugs and all that stuff. God damn, I'm so good at that bowling it. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Yeah. So. All the wires I have cut a little bit uh, longer, just in case. Um, but yeah, I'll continue doing bits by bits and all that stuff. Um, I'll do the water temp sensor over here now. Reroute it. That's it from me today, guys. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna pack it up now and uh, go home because it's been quite a long, it's been a few hours now, four hours on Sunday. So let me show you all the progress I've made so far. So as I said, um, I had to make my own um, pin out and stuff like that um, because the pin out that I had didn't match with all the stuff that we had in here. Um, no idea why would that be, but I have made my own pin out. Um, this is the old plug. I have um, chopped off everything, the tangled wires over here for all the injectors. We're not gonna need that, but we're gonna need to put some resistors so these few things still running as normal. And these those are tangled up are the coils same story there we need to we need to do something about them the muff sensor that is gonna need to get uh, some resistors stuff like this um, I have folded the two to deep in this and then pin it again with the new wires that I have put so all the wires that were cracking and falling apart I have replaced um, <clears throat> All the so these are water temperatures. Um, this is the chest plug. So by looks of it, this goes to the dash. I think to show the temperature on the dash. Um, this tells the fans when to kick in. I think it's like just a circuit breaker go, going to a relay and stuff like that. Um, this I'm not really sure what it is used for. Um, but it's getting power I think from there and um, one side goes to the chassis plug the other side goes to the ECU um, so this is all being redone um, as you can see I still try to keep the original shape of um, the wiring loom this is the VVTI connector that's being redone uh, the NOx sensor wires they were fine the water temperature number three 
Uh, this goes to the issue directly, even the feed, the power feed for it goes to the issue. The cam sensor wires, they, they seem okay. The air temperature wires, they seem okay. Um, so these ones I'm not going to change now. Um, although if it's needed, I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, this is the muff sensor wire, which I'm probably going to remove because I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, but yeah, crankshaft. Um, this is the crankshaft sensor. It goes to the flywheel at the back. Um, not really sure on that one, to be honest. Um, um, we're still going to plug it in the original issue but I might put a um, 60-2 uh, trigger wheel there so just easier to tune and all that stuff um, I think next next thing I'm going to be doing is wiring up the connectors um, these ones which are for the Volkswagen uh, coils and then I'm going to be wiring up the injector plugs um, but what I will do is I'll find the last position of the mega squat where it's actually gonna sit uh, because it's kind of bulky in it as well. It's not small. There you go, kangaroo steam. Thank you again. So yeah, that is the mega squat uh, computer. It's kind of bulky. The connector is big on it as well. Everything is waterproof, so it can be staying outside. Um, maybe in the valance or something like that. Uh, but I'll need to find the last location on this before I actually run the coil uh, wires and um, injector wires as well. Um, in some of these sensors, I will need to tap in. So let's say the VVTI sensor, uh, VVTI connector, I'll need to tap in small wires, which are going to be some of these, the smaller gauge ones. These are good, just going to be a trigger. Um, to tell it do that, do this, blah 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 uh, and um, yeah all fun and games I'm really tired right now so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon